Good morning, everybody, and a very happy February 14th to everyone, 2021. It's been a while. Happy uh, Valentine's Day. uh, Surely coincidental, purely coincidental that it happens to be Valentine's. I I hope everyone out there uh, enjoys it, whether, whether or not you've got someone else to love or if you just love yourself that's okay too but remember you can go blind that way Uh, I'm gonna love this cup of coffee what to tell you it has been a while this is episode 11 of our stealth playthrough of plants vs zombies I do believe as you see we're still in the backyard still working around the pool not my most favorite levels to play on back in the day. So I'm a little a little uh, bad at the aquatic stuff. Uh, I gotta remember what exactly going on. I know you have to put those down those lily pads that you can put other plants on top of it. And, and we're all rusty on top of it. It has been 16 months since the last State of the Channel update. So it's been a while. I looked it up. It was... In, I think, October 8th, I think the 8th or 9th of October of 2019 was the last time we put one of these up, so. What's been up? How was 2020? Did anything interesting go on? Um, didn't catch up with the, uh, didn't stay on top of the news too much, so, uh, yeah. Let's see, what are we going to talk about? Um, State of the Channel. It has been a while. Um, We're going to discuss that I had been talking about. I would say during my recent Trucker Sim videos, but yeah, it was during the recent ones. I think in this last month, sometime in January, I was talking in one of the later Trucker Sim videos about... My thoughts on the channel and continue whether continuing on or taking a hiatus from it and all that. But as I said at the time, those videos were actually recorded back in August of 2020. So those videos were five or six months old. And those thoughts, and I'm still pondering it. But you will notice me cutting back. Um, or you have noticed me cutting back, let me put it that way. I am aiming at one to two videos a week, if I can get them, just because that's how busy things are right now. And not just at work, I mean, we're still in a spike with the COVID stuff going on, so the hospital is still painfully full of COVID patients and pneumonia and all. But on top of that, I have also got a new dog. Y'all remember uh, Juliet was the the new puppy we got. The, the oh mutt. It's half. Well, it's a fourth pit, a four, fourth boxer, and then whatever its daddy was, because its daddy was a traveling man. So, but it's going to have a hell of a lot of boxer. Apparently, boxer's genes are very strong genes because it is really growing up to look. Uh, it's, it's growing like a weed. And she is really going to look like uh, a pit bull. No, I mean, not a pit bull, a boxer. She's got that face, got that kind of, kind of huggy... Uh, boxer face and she's just adorable. Um, gotta work through the puppy stage a bit. She is very much a little monster right now. But she's getting there. She's she's learning the ropes. We're trying to working on the whole house breaking and trying to keep her from biting us because those little teeth are like freaking needles. They are so painful. So we got that going on. What else is going on? Oh, game-wise, I am still working my way through American Truck Sim. Y'all have seen me uh, posting the uh, Genoa Bridge videos. I've still got several of those print post up. I'm still posting the 
cruising Idaho, and then I got cruising Colorado, and then I've got the Christmas event after that. But of course, I've taken a, a slight event and shot forward and doing the Hauling Hope COVID event. In fact, it just ended. Well, it will be ending tomorrow. Today is the 14th. It's ending the 15th. They extended it a week to give people more time to, to enjoy it and all. So that's fine. But I'll be getting those up just to try and stay a little bit more current and to also, um, yeah, to see right there, I was totally unprepared for the little aquatic, for the, the zombies, the zombies with the, the, uh, scuba gear. And there really wasn't much to do other than dropping other than dropping the cherry bombs on top of them and walling them off with walnuts um, because I don't have one of the aquatic ones. I don't have the the uh, kelp the kelp plants yet that can haul aquatic uh, zombies down under the water. So I'm having to slow them down and cherry bomb them to death. And as you see the. the saw oh, the lawnmowers will only stop them for a second they'll uh, drive they'll drive forward and, and stop that one but of course it then sinks to the bottom of the pool so I've got to haul that lawnmower out of the bottom of the pool there so yeah tons of trucking videos to get done and I'm currently crossing where did I get stopped at? I was up in Idaho, and I'm currently driving. I currently got a load to drive across Idaho and New Mexico and to uh, the very western part of Colorado, I think. And I'm trying to get back. Y'all remember I was looking at trying to buy a truck, trying to buy a new truck. And uh, I need to be at one of my two headquarters to do that so I can trade it out and, get the, and drive the new one and leave my old one there. So I'm currently trying to get back to Colorado Springs where our new headquarters is. Y'all haven't seen that one yet. Uh, this will be a first. Although I'll probably, now that the Hauling Hope is over, I'll probably go back and do Idaho and Colorado and the Christmas stuff and get those up. So y'all probably will see it before you'll see this. Oh, time travel. All this, this timey, wimey, wibbly, wobbly stuff. It makes your head what else is going on? Uh, Mind Fiend, for my birthday, recently got me the Honey Pot 2 video game. I don't think y'all be seeing any of that. <laughs> don't know if y'all be seeing any of that or not. You might. It is a damn good, you know, one of those, what, what they call it, uh, Connect 3, Connect 4, um... You know, uh, bejeweled type games. Fun, fun game. Uh, absolutely love it. Y'all might see some of the gameplay of that. I don't think y'all see very much of the dating sim side of that. In addition, once again, trying to get uh, Lord of the Rings. I will definitely be trying to get a Lord of the Rings video up at least once a week. So, so yeah, that's what it's looking at. It's like a, it's looking at a Lord of the Rings video for sure, whether it's Narlo or or Narine or Nomadan. And another video, whether it's a truck sim video or whether it's a board game video or which kind of thing it is like that. Because you know, just time matters. Yeah, you know, may very often it may be trucking just because I've got so many of it recorded, and and I'm still recording stuff. Recording's easy, you know. I, if I'm playing for 20 or 30 minutes, I'll sit on and I'll turn the recorder on and store it on the hard drive over there. The external drive. The problem is in the editing, because I've said before the editing takes longer than than actually recording the game does. Um, as y'all see right here, you know, I haven't been paying very much attention because I've been doing this recording and the, the voiceover here is afterwards, but you'll see I have the kelp this time. Um, it was nice to get that as a choice, nice to get that as a new plant, so now I can put those in the water and haul those, haul those little monsters down when they show up, so that will be nice. I'm also going to try and plant more sunflowers this time too. As I said I was rusty, but getting getting that particular plant is really helping the strategy for the pool here. Um, 
I've still got to get Narlo. In fact, I will load up on him tonight and see if I can't get him into that War of the Three Peaks and play around with some of the missions and that and get him leveled up a little bit. That was the whole reason of picking that up was to, to have a couple of weeks. Have a few episodes of that to try and get him leveled up a bit. Um, and be able to help help get through Helm's Deep a little bit better. Like I said, though, it's, the, it's not the recording, it's not the playing that's a problem, it's the editing. The editing always takes longer than the recording does. I, you know, at best, if I've got a 30-minute video and I haven't got to make any changes in it, at best, putting putting the video there, not having to make any edits, not having to make any cuts, red text doesn't have to butt in like he always does. Uh, I'm not doing a travelogue entry and having to do the, the reading of, of text and all that kind of stuff and the camera movement. At best, if I have to do that, if it's a 30 minute video, it's going to take 20 to 30 minutes to edit. At worst, and like I'm thinking something like, you know, our zombie side, look at my zombie side videos for all the ones that have heavy post processing and editing work. I have a 30 minute zombie side video. It takes at best an hour to uh, get it edited, usually longer than that. So, and then it has to process. A 30 minute video takes about 30 minutes to sit there and process and be turned into a format that YouTube can actually do something with and that y'all can watch so we're talking quite a bit of time and because of Juliet I am spending almost all this is the first night off I've had in a week that I've actually been at my house um, I've been spending all the rest of them sleeping on the couch over there at my wife's house next to uh, Juliet's uh, crate so that Juliet can um Whenever she wakes up and whines in the middle of the night, which she usually does about every two hours, she wakes up and starts whining. I can get her and go out into the backyard and put her down and let her pee and poop and whatever she needs to do, bring her back in and scratch her and stroke her for a few minutes and then put her back into her crate and listen to her whine for a minute or two until she falls asleep again. And then it takes me 15, 20, 25 minutes to fall asleep again. And then an hour and a half after that, she's whining and needs to go out and pee again. So, that has been my life for this last week. I said this is the first, first night I've actually had off. So, that's the main reason right there that I'm not going to be putting out quite as many videos as I had before. Add on top of that, that she, uh, she and Leo are still working out their their relationship with each other. Um, still, still trying to figure out what's going on and, and how their how their uh, territory is to be divided and all. And uh, it's it's they can't you know be left alone right now they can't be left alone together right now whenever they're home so Vita has to constantly be watching them or, or like I said when I'm off I have to go and, and give her a hand with it and make sure that the, the two oh the two taters are kept apart and and because, uh, I mean, Juliet just wants to jump on her all the time. Juliet wants to play all the time. And Leo is either, she's either in one of her don't bother me phases and gets real aggravated about it. Or she's in a, yeah, let's play and forgets that the thing is a fourth her size or a fifth her size and gets too rough and knocks her around. So, yeah, for safety reasons, you know, they can't really be left alone with each other right now. They're still... Still working out this whole how do we work together phase. So that's going to be for a few more weeks. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time over there right now. And on top of that, my son is down visiting. Uh, tomorrow is his birthday. So we're going to be celebrating that. So he's come down to stay for a week. And he just got a new dog. He's got Cinnamon, who is a... Uh, a shawini who's mostly weenie 
and a cute little dog, cute absolute dog. She's uh, eight years old. He, he bought a more senior dog, which is, you know, this is this is his first dog as a pet type thing. So it's good to have him get a senior dog, a little bit more mellow, a little bit less rambunctious, a little bit slower that he can, you know, that when he's working, because he works at home right now. Well, I say right now, he's been working at home for over a year now. And then, so he's got this dog that, you know, take once a day for a walk and the rest of the time just wants to kind of lay around and get scratched and cuddled. So, so he'll be able to sit there and have Sin Sin jump up in his lap and while he's talking to clients on the, on the phone, be able to sit there and just scratch, scratch and pet her. So that's going to work out great for him and her. But it just means we have a house full of dog right now. Poor Leo is just so utterly confused, you know, going from a year of being the only dog in the house and being the baby to suddenly, what the hell is it with these other two animals inside my house? So she's very confused and upset right now. So she's needing a little extra attention and loving and all. All right, other than trucking and dealing with... Uh, The Lord of the Rings stuff and getting those videos up. What else? Yeah, like I said, y'all will be seeing. I'm gonna try to still do the game a week. Um, I'm about a week and a half behind right now, but I am recording one of those. I don't know when I'll be able to edit them and get them up, but I will be recording one of those later tonight. As I said, I, it's easy to record this stuff as I play it. You just kind of point the camera that way, or if it's if it's a video game, you just turn the recording software on and let it record, and then you just shift it over to the hard drive, the external drive over there. It's the editing, that's the hard part. But I am looking at playing Jaws of the Lion, I think. You yeah, may have heard there was a the number one game on Board Game Geek, the one on the top, the top 100. The one that the various uh, members of Board Game Geek have voted the number one game of all time is a game called Gloomhaven. It's a dungeon crawler. It's a Euro-y, card-driven dungeon crawler that is just immense in size. It's, it's they, as they said, Dungeons and Dragons in a box. It plays anywhere from one to four players. I would never try it with four players because it does get longer and longer the more players there are. Uh, but it's it's best at one to two it's a fabulous solo game and it's a great game for two players um, but it's just a monster to learn it's quite enormous there are hundreds of adventures inside this box and the components are incredible i mean the box itself weighed over 20 pounds a 20 pounds board game in that box so they came out with a smaller one which is only about 10 pounds has 25 adventures and it's called Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. And it's a tutorial. It teaches you how to play the first six or seven missions. It teaches you how to play Gloomhaven. The first one goes into combat and movement. The next one talks about I think, hip points and, and, and so on as you go along. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And that's what I'm going to play later this morning as it is now 12.40 in the morning. I'll be playing that one later on and enjoy. All right, we've got the key. I could not figure out what the hell this key was about whenever I first played. And it's Crazy Dave's shop. It's the car key to pop open his trunk of his car, pop open the back of his SUV here, and uh, and look at his Twitty Dinkies. Buy new plants and new items. And we definitely grab a couple of things here that are... Grab something here that is going to help out quite a bit. And this is why you've been trying to earn money during this entire thing. So you can buy stuff from Crazy Dave that's going to help out with your help out with your zombie killing. Ah, oh, that was good. Very good coffee. So yeah, that's probably what y'all will be seeing in the upcoming upcoming weeks here whenever I'm posting stuff. Things will be better after Juliet gets house trained and after she gets about twice the size she is right now and, and her and Leo can start figuring out the, the their relationship to each other. 
said Leo is kind of getting used to her and kind of wants to play with her, she just gets a little too rough. You know, she plays with her as if she was a pet the same size that Leo is. So we'll see how that works out. But remember, I've still got Doom. I've still got two two episodes of Doom that I'm playing through. I've still got GTAs to do. There's still tons of stuff. I've never forgotten any of that. I still know it's all there all the way back to Ultima Underworld. It's still back there. So we will get it played. But yeah, I thought I would just like to run one of these and nothing else. Play a couple of hands of a couple of episodes of uh, Plants vs. Zombies here. So we're going to leave it. I hope y'all have had a good one. Y'all stay safe out there. Wash your damn hands. Wear your masks. Take your vaccines when they're available. And I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.